Love others as you love yourself. Hello. We last took a look at the first part of Romans 12:13. Let's look at the second part. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. You know, we we know that the word seek it means to look for something. Really look for something. So we're really seeking, this verse said, people who need hospitality. You know, that we can show them, you know, that they're welcomed. Hospitality. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means to be friendly and to be welcoming. A long time ago, during uh, first century Rome, uh, during that culture, what did that mean, hospitality? Well, a long time ago there during Rome, people who were traveling, they would arrive at a place, and what would they do? Well, they would be thirsty, of course, so someone would offer them some water, and they would take the water, and that you know, they'd ask them if they wanted more or whatever, and if they accepted it, that meant that they were welcome to come into their home, have food and drink, and if they needed to stay overnight. During this Roman time, people who were traveling, and they needed hospitality, well, they had different ways of showing this. If two people were friends, for example, they had a token of hospitality. This was small. It was made from wood or stone. Uh, two friends, they could break in half the wood, for example, and they would put their names on each piece of this. And maybe they would keep these for years. And a man would give his to his son. He would give his peace for him to keep. What did he do that for? Well, if his son was later traveling with his family, or maybe just a son, and he needed hospitality, and he arrived at this other old friend, he would show him this token, and he would see the name. Oh, friend, he would, he would give him his token. And he would say, come on in. You're welcome to stay overnight, whatever you need, food or drink. In the Bible, there's a verse in the book of Revelation, and it's about tokens. Let's look. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone with a new name written on the stone that no one knows except the one who receives it. Long time ago, the people help by giving people water and food and welcoming them to stay overnight in their home. It's the same way that we should help our brothers and sisters in Christ with their needs. You know, we should show hospitality to people. We should show them love. Same as we love ourselves. We take care of our bodies, whatever we need. It's the same way that we should be to other people. We should provide them with support they need. Quorum Dio. To live Quorum Dio is to live one's entire life in the presence of God, under the authority of God, to the glory of God. Everyday Breadcrumbs, Daily Devotional Studies for the Deaf by Brad and Tammy Schaff, taught in American Sign Language, ASL, by Brad, with voiceover by his wife, Tammy. All verses from English Standard Version.